Hey everyone, it's Nomad Flair here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to display your MacBook Pro or Air to a monitor, which is commonly known as clamshell mode. Not only that, I'll be answering a few questions regarding battery damage and if you can switch on the MacBook without lifting the screen. Okay, let's begin. So firstly, we need a few accessories at hand. You need your MacBook Pro or Air, a keyboard and mouse, power cable and adapter. And lastly, depending on your MacBook Pro, you may need a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Fortunately, my MacBook Pro has a HDMI port and therefore I won't be needing it. If you don't have a HDMI port on your MacBook, then I'll leave a link down in the description below of a really good adapter that's HDMI 2.1 compatible, allowing you to experience 120 Hertz if you ever need to use it. So let's switch on the MacBook. Now connect your keyboard and mouse, either wirelessly or wired. Both of mine are wireless, so I just need to head over to settings, then Bluetooth to pair them together. Now that both are connected and fully functional, grab the power cable and adapter and attach it to your Mac for it to be fully functional when the screen is closed. Then grab yourself a HDMI cable. If you're planning to game on your Mac, then a HDMI 2.1 cable would be ideal. If not, just a regular HDMI 2.0 cable. Plug one side into the monitor and the other end into your MacBook. Then head over to settings again, enter displays and alter the settings for your external monitor. Lastly, this part is optional. If you don't want the display to turn off when you're not using it, then head over to lock screen and change the following to never. Now we can close the screen and use the MacBook as a desktop computer. If the power cable is removed, then the monitor display switches off. The power cable must always be plugged in for clamshell mode to work. Okay, and now moving on to the commonly asked questions. Does clamshell mode damage your battery health if plugged in when fully charged? And the answer is no. So I've scaled through the internet and I couldn't find anything saying that it damages the battery. However, from my research, having the lid closed may increase the temperature of the Mac, putting stress onto the cooling system. But I've been using this method for a couple of years now and I've had no negative experiences whatsoever. Also, sadly, there is no way to switch on the MacBook without raising the screen. However, if your MacBook is in sleep mode, then you can wake it up just by tapping on your keyboard. And that's it everyone. I hope you found today's video to be useful. I would appreciate if you can leave a like on the video and leave any comments down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. And until next time everyone, take care. It's not a game, it's a